Hi everyone, I'm going to do a little uh, tutorial that doesn't involve me applying makeup on myself but it involves me telling you what's in my brush belt. It's like look through the keyhole but with brushes. Look at these bad boys. So I just want to go through what I've got in this brush belt which is rather extensive with lots of little goodies that I basically always use and always have at hand just in case. Um, I've got what, my tweezers in there, so for lashes, I've got my lash glue da -da, from Duo which is a, um, sorry when you apply it it's like a creamy colour but it dries clear so you can see what you're doing and then it dries and it sets and it lasts and it's amazing, I love it. Um, I always carry a black eyeliner. Um, this one is Black Black from MAC, which I adore. I also love Smolder as well, so that also normally features. I've got a red lip liner as well, Ruby Woo. So, um, and I've got Extended Play Lash Mascara from MAC, which is my favourite. It's, it's got a um, really amazing wand to it, which I love. You can really separate the lashes and like and even make them clumpy if you want and clump them together using the end of the wand. So I use that as well. Um, then I've got a lip balm from Kiehl's, which is great to prep the skin and for male and female. So um, that, and then in here I've also got a Clinique Super Primer, which I would use before applying foundation to male or female again. I use matte mattifier from MAC Cosmetics which is amazing it's really good um, prep for the skin for when I'm doing male grooming um, and even on oily t-zone area then I've got clear gloss from MAC I'm a bit of a MAC fan um, which is the lip gloss which is good because you can mix it with anything use it on its own you can mix it with that red lip liner there so if you're caught short anywhere you've always got like a nice little selection of little must-haves in there and then I've got these three um, pencil like chubby sticks from Smashbox which I think are absolutely awesome um, and they come in three different colours. You've got a highlighter which is that one and then a contour and a bronze. So you could basically do like a whole little makeup look with that if you were like caught short. Um, I've got those so I, so I have those in there. Then I always carry a nail file because you never know scissors to cut my eyelashes with so that's that it's pretty it's like an Aladdin's cave this belt it just like goes on forever and ever then on the other side I've got these are amazing these little wooden sticks I use these a lot for when I do film and stuff to take away any flyaway hairs and really good for grooming as well for um, for men's grooming so for that and any flyaways around um, uh, your client's face or anything so they're great I get them from Nigel's in Los Angeles but I mean you, you could probably get them anywhere over here screen face or Charles Fox some latex wedges sponges just just because and then some sharpeners so this one's from Kiko Kiko have got some amazing stuff I love it so here's the brush belt Woohoo! Um, I also carry a pot to put my brushes out that I always use so I've got them at hand so I can just pull from them but I like to have these in front of me because they stand up and I can see clearly what's there. So I've got a huge selection from all different companies, um, I've got Real Techniques, I've got Spectrum, I've got MAC Cosmetics, I've got Charles Fox, um, Charlotte Tilbury, um, I mean I am a huge brush fan but I think they really do make a difference because you, there's so many different products on the market that you can get that are sort of high end or on the high street um, and kind of from you know super drug or you know like the um the more affordable products that you can use but if you put them on right and you know how to use brushes that are an investment and you can kind of build on them and add to them and you know put it on your christmas list and your birthday list and then you can just add and then this is what happens don't forget i've been doing this for a long time and as a job so they they are an investment but i'm just going to talk you through some of my favorites 
So here we go. So I'm going to do the 150 brush from MAC Cosmetics, one of my favourites. I've always used this forever and ever and ever. Um, I love it when I'm doing male grooming actually because it's great for picking up like a studio fix which is a foundation and powder in one. Kryolan also do them and I'm a huge fan of them. Um, and you can use them wet or dry but they're great for kind of getting in and dusting like all over the face. Um, also great for bronzing as well and they've got like a tapered round edge so you can kind of still get your circular motion into the contour for much larger areas so these are fantastic I love this um, there's also a 136 brush which is a longer longer bristle brush which means that it will be it will lightly dust over the product so if you're using loose powders um, and you kind of want to set a makeup then they're fantastic for that so that's the and you can see the difference between them that's much rounder and that's longer and thinner and the bristles are longer so there's those two um, they've also got I've also got some amazing um, foundation brushes this is from Charles Fox it's um, almost a replica of the MAC 190 which is the one that I always used to use this is a little bit bigger so it'll cover like um, areas faster um, with these brushes you can almost kind of you can push the product on and layer it up and build it up so you can kind of you know right, get and get right up into the areas around the eyes and kind of push the product in and layer it onto the skin and then you know dust off with some powder some loose powder and then go over again for an extra coverage so they're fantastic to have and then along with that Charlotte Tilbury has got a smaller version of that which I absolutely love because I think it's the perfect size because it can fit in your makeup bag as well it's a small foundation brush it's absolutely beautiful I love this color as well it really you know pops out I love all the different colors at the moment that they've got with brushes and you know it kind of really makes them distinct and stand out so you know what you're grabbing and picking up so that's good as well and also good for concealing and if you're contouring with cream based products iconic do some well have got two amazing palettes for contour they do a cream and a powder version so um for the cream one this is awesome um then i've got this has got to be well just my absolute favorite is the 187 from mac um it just gives a much it gives a sheer finish it gives a lovely coverage it like really buffs out and in circular motions small circular motions around the skin and you know you can kind of get into all the nooks and crannies around the nose area and really and it gives you like an airbrush finish so this is a favorite of mine I love these Real Techniques brushes from um, Pixie Woos. I think they're fantastic. I love the uh, the metallic range, which they just look they just look so expensive and amazing, and yet they're really affordable and really do a fantastic. Um, so the Real Techniques brushes, which I absolutely love, the metallic range. This one it actually feels like a real artist brush because it's like it's a triangle. So you can, it can really sit nicely in your hand and also it's great for like foundations and blending and because the actual bristles as well are triangular like all the way around you can kind of really get into like difficult areas and kind of like twist it over and roll around good for contouring as well and this one is I love this it's like a firm bristle blusher brush so it's good for you know the apples of the cheek to apply the to apply the product and kind of really buff out they feel really expensive these brushes but they're really affordable and that's what I love about them they're great for your kit and great for just general good for a Christmas present and that's what I reckon that's what I think you should do um, anyway and then I just want to let you know about some of my favorite eye brushes um, that I always always use which is the mac 239 which is the short um, white bristle brush that's flat and i use that to put product over the lid of the eye to pack the product on and to kind of create the initial shape that i want to go for um, and then after that my middle like the middleman brush is the 217 from mac which is also white as well um, and it's kind of like a, a medium length bristle brush in comparison to what I use, which is the 224 for blending out. So the middle one here, I use for my middle color. So to blend in between the light and the dark. So, and then I go in with a 224, which is just so soft, so luxurious, and just kind of like go into the crease of the eye um, and to blend out any lines and take it up into the brow bone. 
so there's those and then Charlotte Tilbury has got this most amazing pencil brush so this is fantastic for under the eye area if you're putting eyeliner on so your black black um, eye pencil from MAC you could put that on and then smudge it out with this you could dunk it into a little bit of water as well just to kind of really get like an extra maneuverability within the product and then kind of really blend it out and take it up into the crease line as well so um, these are like my favorite eye brushes I would say scrub all that one thing I love about my new addition to my brush belt are these spectrum brushes and the thing that I absolutely adore about these is that they're animal friendly no one's getting harmed and these are adorable I love the colors um, and they've just they've got some of them are actually at home because I love them so much I've put them in my own personal makeup bag so um, but these ones today that I've got for you are just awesome and I use them in my tutorial for smoky eyes so check that out I use this one which is fantastic for a base and it really buffs it in and you can see it's got quite firm but they're so soft they just they honestly they are so soft they're amazing this is fantastic for contouring for getting under that cheekbone and kind of really working in and under the jawline as well to kind of lift that up if you need it um, and also there's a smaller version which this would be fantastic for concealing and contouring around the eye but I've used it for eyeshadow so I think you can be really versatile with your brushes and just whatever you feel that you can you know use them for and kind of double up so until you kind of build up the collection that you really want then you can double up on so many different things with these brushes but um yeah these are awesome and they come in so many different colors they're amazing so and it brightens up your brush belt so um most of it's still there but then i've got like a whole world of stuff i've got like these fine eyeliners here from charles fox that are bent at the end so you get like a perfect angle to do a winged flip look 1950s I'm sure I used that in my tutorial the 1950s black tick red lip have a look at that um, and I've got this little spatula which I always use it's like a little applicator to push in my eyelashes with so and I always carry eyelash curlers in here as well they're over there but I get those from boots and I love them so um, yeah there you go these brushes all get used at some point. If you enjoyed my little brush tutorial, I am going to do, I'm going to keep these eyes on and I'm going to do another little look for you, which I think is great for party season. So please subscribe, please make a little comment and let me know how I can improve because um, this is all new to me and also any requests that you want. I will happily and gladly and lovingly do them for you. Have a nice day. Bye.